Still with me, Sean? <laughs> yeah. Just... zoning out. Just don't do that when you're driving, my son. So, uh, what's the verdict on the new car? I know it's not a new board, but it's got Ford Hot Wheels. Thanks for finishing it, Dad. A perfect reward for your excellent report card. <laughs> I'm proud, Sean. That makes up for when you bullshit me about needing cash. Hey, I'll try to be cool. No dad jokes, huh? I hope you're not too bummed out to go on a big road trip with your lovely papito, huh? <laughs> oh, please. You're the coolest dad. How could I be bummed? Excuse me. <laughs> Where's my regular, emotionless son? <laughs> I appreciate it. Think we can hang out for five days without killing each other? Hell yeah. Haven't done that since I was a kid. Miss it. So do I. Been too long since we went padre y hijo against the road. <laughs> Way too long. I love road trips. Good to hear. <laughs> By the way, boy talk. What's going on with that gin, huh? <laughs> You know, going okay, I guess. That was like pulling teeth. Well, I've got a week to find out the truth. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Not much to say. Okay, okay. Keep your secrets to yourself. I won't pry. Ah, could that be Daniel? Hola. Hello. Everything okay, Lila? Oh, Daniel better not be giving you any sass. <laughs> nah, he's an angel. We went to the swing pool, and now we're making popcorn for movie <laughs> night. Yes, it's so cool. Hey, Sean, don't crash the car. He's driving real slow and safe, like a grandma. Thanks for checking in. We'll buzz you when we hit the motel. Lila, you ready? Sounds good. And Sean? Jen told me to say hi. Girl <laughs> cannot wait to see you again. Ho oh, ho ho. Sounds like someone is still thinking about you. Yeah. I know. Seriously though, how are you really doing? It's too big, but I miss you. I miss you too, my son. But this is all part of growing up. I know. I don't like it. I have total faith in you, Sean. You're a Diaz. You were born to roam and find your way home. God. I love you, Dad. I wish I would have told you more. You didn't have to tell me. You showed me. Oh, by the way. Oh. Hey, wake up. Huh? Huh? What? Yeah, what the fuck are you doing on our property? Huh? Oh, man, I crashed hard. Oh, yeah? Come on out, boy. Who the fuck is that? A fucking kid. Get out. Look, I'm leaving, okay? Uh, no you ain't. Step out, or I'll call the cops. You don't want that, boy. No need to. I I'm leaving. Now. You deaf? I said, out. Ugh. We don't need cops to deal with assholes like you anyway. Listen, I don't want any trouble. Too late for that, boy. So tell us what the fuck you're doing on our land. I... drove for so long, I... I had to pull over to get some rest, you know? 
I swear, I had no idea this was your property. There's a fucking sign. Didn't you see it? I was too exhausted. I guess I missed it. He's just a kid, and he's hurt. Look. Yeah? What happened to your eye? I... got into an accident. Oh, yeah? Uh-huh. Move it! <sighs> Please. I just want to go. Ho-ho! Uh -huh. What's this? Drugs? Yeah, for my eye. Oh, yeah. Did you steal them? Like this car? Listen, it's not what you think. Oh, I think it is. You ain't the first beaner we caught. Take his backpack. Dude, come on. Get it! Let's see what he's holding. So? Nothing good. Any money? Fucking toys, man. You still play with toys? Seriously? It belongs to my brother! Leave it alone! Oh, your brother? Where is he now? Well, I'm going to meet him! In a stolen car? More lies. <sighs> okay, Chad. We fucked with him. Hey. Let him go. He's got Hold on nothing. a sec, Mike. You speak Spanish, Pedro? Huh? What? 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 Hablas Espanol. Chad. So, Professor, how do you say, I'm a dirty thief? Oh, you don't want to share your language? <laughs> okay. Maybe you know this one. Uh, I'm a dirty thief with one eye. <laughs> no, just stop, please. Figures. You come here to steal but don't want to give back. All I want to do is learn Espanol. <laughs> Might be our official language someday, right? See, si, senor? So, one more lesson. How do you say, this is not my country? I don't know. Told you. Well, that's the only one you should know, boy. Learn it. Look, Chad, it's gonna rain. Let's go before we get soaked. Hold on. This little thief is fucking with me. You're really pissing me off, you know that? But I'm willing to give you one last chance to make things right. Sing something. What? Just pass the audition, and you're free. We'll be very upset if you refuse. Estrechita, ¿dónde estás? Me pregunto qué serás en el cielo y en el mar. <laughs> Jeez, enough! Let the boy finish his song. Go on. Go on. Estrechita, ¿dónde estás? Me pregunto qué serás. Cuando el sol se ha ido ya. Cuando nada brilla más. Tú nos muestras tu brillar, brillas, brillas, <laughs> sin parar. Estrellita, ¿dónde estás? Me pregunto, ¿qué serás? <laughs> well, damn! I think you just won Mexican Idol. <laughs> now pick up all your shit and get the fuck out. Don't ever come back. Understand?
So the... the Wolf Brothers were split apart. The oldest wolf was badly hurt, but nothing could stop the wolf from following his brother's tracks. Okay. Still a few hours away from Haven Point. Almost there. Stop. Can't run for miles in this heat. Yes. Shade. Oh, man. My feet are killing me. It feels like hiking in hell. Oh, shit. My throat feels like sand. Daniel better be okay. Feels like I haven't seen him in years. Of course I miss everything about him. Even his whining. Yeah, you couldn't wait to get out on your own. Now you are. And it sucks. Shit, there's a truck coming. Whoa. Is he honking at me? He's stopping. Uh, okay, uh, be cool. Just uh, see what he wants. Truckers can't be cops. 
right. Hey, need a lift? It's too damn hot to be walking. Yeah, thanks. Hold up. Like shit. Your eye okay? Yeah. Just a scratch. Good. Well, I hope it's not contagious or something. Hey Anton, you there? Everything all right? Yeah. What's up? GPS tells me you parked in the middle of nowhere. Just wanted to know what happened. I, uh... I had to make a shit stop. Over. <laughs> too much information, but... 10-4. <laughs> you mean number two. <laughs> you owe me a beer for that. Over and out. Don't freak out. I... I wouldn't have picked you up if I cared about that hitchhiking law. Okay. Cool. So, you hungry or what? You look hungry. Oh. No, thanks. I'm cool. <laughs> You're lost, son. What's your destination? Hmm... Haven Point. You've heard of it? Oh yeah. Straight ahead, about an hour. Take a nap if you want. You don't have to stay awake to be nice. Hey, don't worry, kid. I'm not a fucking weirdo. Just a boring trucker.
Last stop, Haven Point. Thank you so much. You just be careful out here. These people are kind of weird. Really? Okay. 10-4, good buddy. Oh, feel that cold air. Oh, thank God for AC. The world is in trouble. We are in trouble. Can you feel it? So I'm not the only one. Amen to that. We are surrounded by false idols. A society run by greed and technology. Do you think we're any smarter? <laughs> Look at the world. Why do we bow to these machines? <sighs> Shit. I will draw too much attention. <sighs> Better try upstairs. Temptation. Faith. We hear that word a lot, but... Faith is not just a word, my brothers and sisters. Oh, no. What is faith? Remember Luke 18, 27. What is impossible for man is possible for God. Amen. With that righteous faith comes the salvation of your souls. Can you cross that invisible bridge to salvation? Do you want your soul to be saved, brothers and sisters? Yes. Oh, yes. oh, yes. You are not like all these sinners out there. So I never asked the Lord for a sign. Then, he gave me one. He spoke to me and told me that I was doing right. And to reward our great faith, the Lord sent me the ultimate gift. Yes, he did. An angel, a child graced with the power of God. Yes. The miracle we have all been praying for, waiting 
four. Can I get a hallelujah? hallelujah. Do you have faith in his power? Do you have faith in me? Then please welcome our newest member and our latest miracle, the angel Daniel. Here is Daniel, oh, praise be the Daniel. prophet who was thrown to the lions by false prophets. But God saved Daniel so he could do his work. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Daniel was brought to me to deliver us, praise to guide us from the wilderness praise to our destiny. Now Daniel will reveal the true power of the Lord. Our flock keeps growing. I see more and more new faces. But this is only the beginning. You must spread the word. Oh, yes. Bear witness to this miracle. Thank you so much for coming. And God bless all of you. Amen. As our Reverend said, we do appreciate your kind donations. This helps us keep our church and to spread the word of God. Oh yeah, there's only a few tickets left for our picnic raffle next Sunday. Don't miss the child and another miracle. Any questions, please talk to me outside. Bless you for coming today. <laughs> Oh, uh, hi. I saw you out in that parking lot earlier. <laughs> yep, that was me. I like to be here too. We can see the whole room, and it's where a reverend mother teaches us classes. <coughs> Whoa. You okay? Need some water? Uh, and no, sorry. I'm just kind of sick. Oh, that sucks. Uh, that's too bad. Hey, what happened to your eye? Well, that's a long story. That's okay. My name is Sarah Lee. What's yours? Hello, Sarah Lee. My name is Sean. Good to meet you. By the way, can I ask you, you something? You are Daniel's brother? 
Really? He's always talking about you. Hey, uh, not too loud. Uh, yes, I'm Daniel's brother, but I need some help. The Reverend Mother says we always have to help our neighbor. What do you need? What is Daniel doing here? He's our miracle, and the Lord brought him right to our Reverend Mother. I like him. He's really kind and funny. We play together all the time. So, can you take me to Daniel? Oh, yes. He's gonna be so happy when he sees you. He missed you so much for his birthday. It will be like a late surprise. Daniel, you're the living proof of their faith. And mine. I know you understand. I guess... I mean... Sean? Oh my... Sean! You came back! I knew it! You've grown up, and I know. Do I look older? What? What happened to your eye? Don't worry. It's okay. Did that happen at the farm? Because of... me? I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Forget it. It wasn't your fault. I should have... It's okay. Does it... hurt? No. <laughs> Not as much as your haircut. Shut up. It's different. I kind of like it. Sean, I didn't want to leave you there. Nothing I could do. I was so scared. I even thought you were dead. And... It's okay. We're together now. Yes. So, are you going to stay with us now? Huh? I... We still need to go to Puerto Lobos. But we don't need to. We have a new home now. Look. One step at a time, Daniel. Give Sean a chance to process this. I'm sure this is all so overwhelming. By the way, my name is Lisbeth Fisher. We all prayed for your safe return. Sean, you must be a believer now in our Lord, too. Well, not really. No. So Daniel was wrong? Hmm. You can be honest here, Sean. But first, I need Sarah Lee and Daniel to grab the medicine kit. We have to take care of our new guest. This is a place of healing. Aww. Let's do it later. I want to talk to him now. Daniel? Now. Okay, Reverend Mother. Let's go, Daniel. Whoa, whoa. Hold on. Well, Sean, it's a pleasure to meet you. This is a real blessing today. You were away from Daniel for quite a while. I was in a coma. Of course. <laughs> I wasn't judging you. So what is your plan, Sean? This is a blessed family, and it would be good for Daniel to have you by his side. You should know. That the Lord has big plans for him. God? Or you? God, of course. I'm his family. Two young boys are not a family. Mark 3, 25. If a house is divided against itself, that house cannot stand. Daniel sounds more like a prisoner than a guest. It saddens me that you see things that way. After everything I've done for him. I know why you're scared, Sean. That's because your heart's full of sins. I know about that poor man you beat down back in Washington, Sean. This is a terrible sin. 
And until you make penance for it, I can't accept you here. What? Are you serious? I'm sorry, my son. I'm not your son. And Daniel isn't gonna be your golden cow. Daniel, come on! Why don't we ask him what he wants to do? Do not touch me! What the fuck? What did you do? Nothing. Enough. You spilled blood in the Lord's home. Sean, what happened? Your brother came in here, impure and acting like a criminal. But he can be saved, Daniel. I'm sorry, Sean. She's right. I will pray for you. Then, when you're ready, we can. She's trying to manipulate you. Let me lead you to the one true light that never goes out. I want to be your friend. You're crazy! Let's get out of here, Daniel. I want to stay. Just go. There's your answer, Sean. We're together again. So we can go, right? Come on. Get off me, dude! What? Daniel! <coughs> Let me go, asshole! <coughs> Daniel! They're not your family! Stop it. You just need to have faith. We'll be waiting. Daniel! It's okay, Sean. Sean. Daniel! There you go. Satisfied? Now don't you ever come back! Kid, don't make me do this. You're not gonna win. Daniel! Daniel! You're pissing me off. This is private property. I have a legal right to stop any intruders like you. I just want my brother but he doesn't want you he was brought here and this is where he's staying next time i will not hesitate to use this now get out of here daniel hey <sighs> daniel sean Karen? You won't get him back like this. Let's go. from uh, Jacob. He said you were missing. And that Daniel needed help. I believed him. Hmm. <laughs> so you finally decided to check on him. You know, Sean, sooner or later, we're gonna have to talk. Where are we even going? I already have a hotel room. You're gonna need to rest and clean that dressing.
Man. Didn't clean the pain away, but... That felt good. Wonder how long Karen has been here. Did she see one of Daniel's... miracles? Huh. This isn't her tablet. Yay, technology. She came prepared. So Karen did check it out. Wonder if she saw Daniel in action. This place is quite remote. Good. At least nobody will be looking for me here. This country is just way too big. Karen seems to be on the move quite often. Damn. You look bad. Gotta change that dressing soon. This thing is killing my back. I got bruises on my bruises. Karen was always into low tech. I even think it's the one she had back then. Be right back. <sighs> we'll find out. Jeez. It only took Supermom eight years to give a shit. Karen was always into low tech. I even think it's the one she had back then. Jacob, it's me, Sean. Sean? No way! I've been waiting to hear from you for months! So you, you found my note in your sketchbook? Yeah. Where are you? You have to come here, Sean. I know. I'm not far. In a motel. Good. Listen, I, I can't talk right now. I gotta go. Wait! Daniel, how's he doing? Meet me tomorrow afternoon on Brandy Highway. There's a, a, a junction just above Haven Point. There's a, a, a wild mice ranch billboard there. 
I'll be there at four. Jacob, wait! I can't talk, Sean. Be there tomorrow. Please. Damn. He couldn't really talk. All this is so messed up. Let's just rest while I wait for her. If she comes back. Hey, sorry it took so long. The fucking store was packed. How you feeling? Nothing broken? Alter boys don't fight fair? Yeah. I'm okay. Double cheese, no onion. Right? That'll do. Got you some gauze and uh, antibacteria stuff for your eye. Mm. Hey, don't wolf that down. Or at least take a breath. <sighs> like you care. Sean. I do. <sighs> Come on, Karen. Don't act all hurt. It's too late. Where were you when I broke my leg when I was 13? Not with me. When Daniel got a bad flu a couple years ago, he didn't sleep next to him every night. Where were you? Where were you? Fair enough. So let's talk, because we do have to get your brother out of a cult. I'm listening. How did you two survive alone on the road for that long? Dad taught me responsibility. He always wanted us to know how to take care of each other. Good. How did you go to Beaver Creek? You know I don't have to answer your questions, right? You're right. So tell me what you want from me, Sean. Nothing, Karen. I mean, what do you want from me? A fucking hug? Hey, I just want you to know what I did. And why. If you care. So, ask me anything. All right. Why did you bail on us? I wasn't meant to be a wife or a mother. I thought I was supposed to. I tried to pretend for many years. But I wasn't happy, and the urge to leave just became unbearable. I had no other choice. Are you serious? You chose this life. You fell in love. You made your own choices, right? Making your own choices doesn't mean you can never fool yourself, Sean. After I had Daniel, you were about eight, and Esteban's garage was getting busy. There was so much going on around me, yet somehow I just felt that my own life was just slipping away. Felt like an empty shell. Sean. It was the hardest decision I ever made. I knew I might never see you all again, but I took that responsibility. Did Dad know about all of this? I was honest with your father. We did family therapy, but it wasn't about him. It was me. He was heartbroken for months after you left. Years. I was too. I was in love with your father. He was the best person I ever met. But just not enough for you. 
Something was missing from the equation, yeah. I was. So what exactly are you doing in Nevada? You live around here? No. I'm uh, way out in Arizona. Sean, I told you. Your friend uh, Jacob wrote my P.O. box and said Daniel was in trouble. That's it. Arizona? Holy shit. It's just lizards and rocks. Guess I found something there. New York didn't really do me good, so... Yeah. Okay. Think I've heard enough. I didn't have a choice, Sean. We only have one life. And I didn't want mine to be spent in regrets. For years, I fooled myself. Thinking I'd find satisfaction into what society expected me to be, and that was my mistake. I hope someday you can understand that. But I never stopped caring about you. For what it's worth, I am sorry for hurting you and Daniel, and Esteban. Oh, please. It's too fucking late for that shit. No matter what, you left your own kids and my dad. So don't even... I know it's too late. I just... I want you to know how I feel. Yeah. I still don't care. Jeez. Sean, whatever you want to say to me, this is the time. Let's just get it all out in the open, see what happens. So, did you ever actually miss us? Or Dad? Of course, Sean. I do miss your father. He had such a big heart. He could brighten up a rainy day. That was like his superpower. But above all, I missed watching you grow up. See how you saw the world. I missed sharing these moments with you, Sean. We used to do so much stuff. Like when you taught me to ride because Dad sucked. Or when we went camping near Vancouver. Just me and you. You always loved night skies. I did stargaze a lot when I was in California. Trust me, the further south you go, the better it gets. I mean, I get you wanted to leave and stuff, okay? But why would you ghost us like that? Not even a fucking birthday card. I just... I thought if I vanished, you would all move on. But I wanted to contact you guys so many times. I almost did. But you wanted a clean break from us. I didn't want to be a part-time, pissed-off mother. Not fair to any of you. I left when Daniel was still very young, so he wouldn't remember me. Cool plan, Mom. You hurt Daniel way worse. He thought you took off because of him. I know. I hope I can make it up to you, Daniel. Someday. I could start by getting his ass out of that church. Cult. Whatever. So... 
What did you do when you left? Where did you go? I pursued some dreams and failed. Learned the lessons. I guess all this time I tried to find out what really matters to Which me. Which doesn't involve a husband and two kids. It does to a lot of people. And I totally respect that. Just not to me. I wasn't good at making plans, which is what most of modern life is about, right? School, job, marriage. Ask my mom and dad. They wanted me to follow their rules, their faith. Oh, I tried, but I wanted to find my own way, with no security blanket. Family, religion, social norms. It's just all about security, after all. But it all just looked like a sweet golden jail to me. I tried to escape that. Yeah. Hope it was worth it. It was. For now, I've found my place in the world, with like-minded people. I'm at peace with my fuck-ups and my decisions. How do you make peace with bailing on your parents, your husband, and your kids? I know, that's hard to understand. But I think people should know who they are. And not fake it for anybody. <laughs> Whatever. You sound so... careless. It's like you can't even realize how much pain you've caused. I do care. That's why I'm here. To help you. And your brother. If I didn't step up to help him now, I couldn't live with myself. Hey, um... Mind if I bum a smoke? Sure. Still got a few left. Mm. Wow. I haven't seen that lighter in ages. Your dad loved that thing. I know. Only thing I have left of his. Esteban hated when I smoked. He didn't want me to die an early death. Fuck. Life can be so cynical sometimes. I remember he would smoke sometimes. Long ago. We didn't fight much. But when we did... I would go out on the porch and light up so I could calm down. Esteban would come over and ask for a drag. Now we just look up at the sky and watch the stars, or the planes. I do miss that. I used to do the same thing with my best friend, Lila. Smoking on the porch, just letting time go. That's when you know someone is good to you. When you can just sit together, <laughs> shut the hell up, and watch the universe do its own thing. We should go back inside. I gotta change this dressing. Okay. Let's go. Sean, I know I can't change the past. Or what I did. But this is about helping your brother. You gotta trust me this one time. I know. It's still hard. But yes. We have to be a team to rescue Daniel. We can do it. Okay. 
How? We need to get in touch with this Jacob. He obviously knows a lot more than us about the church. Well, I called him when you were out. We can meet with him tomorrow. Okay, good. I also got these, just in case. Okay. Better take care of the eye. So, do you need any help with that? Yes. Thanks. So, you feel like telling me the story here? When we have time. Gotcha. Here, try this on. How do I look? Great. Thank you, Karen. Big day tomorrow, so we should get some rest. Yeah. I'm ready to get Daniel.